Hey, what's up, homies? Happy Friday. It's your big homie, Chuku Sam, man. So I woke up this morning <laughs> to some hate, you know? Some people on there um, just hating, sending me hateful shit, you know? But that's okay, you know what? Because I be hating too sometimes, you know? And at least I know how to, like, you know, accept it and shit, right? These fools be making fake accounts. Uh, there was this one girl on there called the... Uh, <laughs> Called herself the hater girl, and then her handle was Blue Dildo, but she had no content, uh, no videos, no likes, no nothing. So, you know that was somebody that low key, you know, was hating and shit. But that's okay, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. They were calling me old, which I am old. They were calling me fat because, uh, you know, well, you know, I am fat. I gained a couple of pounds. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's not like if it hurted me or anything. I thought that shit was funny, actually. I woke up laughing and shit and choking on my coffee. Um, you know, and then somebody went on there and said, I look like that the penguin from Batman and shit. Like, damn, that's a little bit too far, but that shit was still funny. You know, I laughed and shit. And, you know, I reached out to these people and I messaged them. They never messaged back. Of course, you know. Hiding behind the fake ass profiles, you know, trying to think, you know, trying to provoke me and shit like that. But I thought that shit was fucking funny, man. I don't give a fuck, you know, because I talk shit about people too. So, you know, it's only fair, right? But anyways, today I wanted to talk to you about uh, um, Tony A. the Wizard. And for my homies here in, in, in Texas who don't know who the fuck that is. Uh, this is guy from Cali somewhere. Uh, I, I don't know. L.A. or some shit. I don't know. He's out there somewhere. And he has a podcast. He's a podcaster. And he claims that he's like old school. Uh, uh, the DJ that he used to work with Dr. Dre. At the flea market or some shit like that. I don't remember the whole story. He's a podcaster from Cali. Um, supposedly he used to be a DJ and a producer. And this and that. Que la verga. Well, anyway, he goes by another name. They over there in Cali, they call him Tony Tranzas, and um, they call him Tony Tranzas because this fool, he um, he made a GoFundMe page, and he was asking all these people to give him money because he was going to interview all these rap artists from California, and he was going to make a a, a documentary. About Chicano rap, how it started off, and this and that. I think that was like two or three years ago, man. That vato, he never came through. So he took all these people's money, and he still doesn't have like a trailer for it. He still doesn't um, have snippets. All the rappers in Cali claim that he never talked to them. Um, so he's bullshitting people. He, he conned the people over there. That's why they call him Tony Tranzas. Now you're probably wondering, why should I give a fuck about some fool from Cali? You know, some Trancero and shit, right? Well, I never used to worry about that one, but I didn't give a shit. I used to watch his uh, podcast here and there. Um, but now, he's got Mo Hustle from here from Houston. And for those of you who don't know who the fuck Mo, Hus Mo Hustle is, I didn't either. So Mo Hustle basically is a producer. Uh, and he works for Dope House Records. He works with SPM. And you guys know how I feel about SPM and child molesters and shit. So, all of a sudden, this Tony Tranzas and Moco Hustle are friends. Not only that, a uh, uh, homeboy, uh, uh, SPM's exo lady, Carolyn Rodriguez, is friends with them now. And they did a couple of, um, they did a couple of videos, uh, a, a couple of podcasts with this, with this fucking clown, Tony, Tony Tranzas, you know, and Tony, he knows what he's doing, man, because he's a Tranzas, you know. Every time he has a guest, he's got fucking cognac, Malibu, he's got beers and shit. 
he gets these people fucked up. And he instigates and he gets them to talk shit. So basically every time that um Mo Hustle's on there on on his podcast. The minute he gets a chance, he's over there praising, glorifying, and, and trying to fucking, like, make people, you know, forget about what SPM did, you know? He's diverting the attention from what he's sitting in jail for away, and he's over there saying he's the greatest, this and that. He's glorifying him so much, man, that the only thing that's left for him to do is suck his dick. And Carolyn over there too. She's a fucking goofball. Because not so long, SPM threw her ass to the curb, told her to hit the road, you know, kick rocks. Put her ass down on blast and she was crying and shit. He fucking traded her in for a, uh, for a younger girl. And she's still over there defending his ass. She might as well get down up under the table and fucking help uh, Mo Hustle suck him off too. He can take turns and shit, man. That shit's so fucking disgusting that midway during the podcast, I turned that shit off, man. That shit made my stomach hurt. Gave me a headache and shit. Uh, but anyways, fuck Mo, Mo Hustle and fuck Karen Rodriguez, man. I'm talking about this Tony Tranzas guy. So all of a sudden, he's down with H-Town. All of a sudden, he likes his PM and shit like that. Man, when like like not only a couple of months ago, this dude Tony was on his very own podcast talking shit about his about his PM, even more shit than me. He made my shit look like fairy tales and shit like that, man. That's how much shit he would talk about. Him. Now he's all up on his fucking job. Damn, man, what was he gonna suck off SPM too? They're gonna have a three way. Fucking Tony can suck his dick and then uh, the other ones can suck his balls and shit. Lick his asshole or something. See, that's another thing too, man. I don't know why everybody's so fucking hung up on a motherfucking washed up rapper from the 2000s that was that's in jail, not for being a G or because he's Mexican and none of that shit. He's in jail because he fucked with underage girls. And I catch, I catch a lot of flag behind that, man. I get called all kinds of names. Hater, this and that, que la verga. I don't give a fuck. You're a hater, too. You don't like me, so... By definition, you're a hater. And, you know, at least I know how to fuck admit it, you know? I don't like SPM. Fuck him. If that makes me a hater, I'm a fucking hater. If I don't like Tony Tranzas, that makes me a hater. Fuck it. I, I'm a hater, you know? But... I think we should cancel that fool, man. If you don't watch him, if you don't know who he is, you're already there, man. If you know who he is, that dude's fake. Don't listen to none of that shit he has to say, man. He fucking set up as uh, he set up uh, Kid Frost too. Even though I don't like Kid Frost, cause Fr- Kid Frost flipped the script too. He's all up on fucking SPM's nuts too now, and and, and you know what? This just you know. I don't fuck with none of them, dog. I don't follow them anymore. I don't listen to their music or whatever. I don't watch their podcasts. All I'm saying is that dude, Tony Tranzas, man, needs to fucking chill. Step the fuck back. Realize what he's doing. He's supporting the fucking Chester that nobody in California likes. While well, he's in California. After he fucking robbed people. He stole people's money. I guess one of these days that fool's gonna get what's coming to him. But for now, I don't even know how the fuck he's still on on on, on social media and has all these views. I don't know. But I say cancel that fool. And as far as I'm concerned, you know I don't fuck with him no more. So whatever, right? Take it for when you want to take it. That's just my opinion. I'm not trying to change your mind. Or, or agree with me or none of that shit, man. Um, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Stay tuned. I got a new video uh, coming out probably within the next hour, hour and a half. Check it out.